What's up everybody? Today is April 8th of 2024 and you know what that means. Today is the solar eclipse. I am planning on filming how my bees react. However, uh, it is it is cloudy in Texas. Um, there's little kind of peaks of blue sky here and there, uh, but either way it is going to get fully dark. I am in the path of totality, so I'm going to show how my bees are going to react to this situation. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting whether it's cloudy or not. So it is now 1258. The total eclipse is going to happen at 134 here. It's super cloudy. However, it is much darker than it was just a bit ago. And the last time that we had a break in the clouds, I did use my solar glasses and it's, uh, it's got a good third of the sun is covered up so far. Um, as of now, there are no changes to the colonies traffic. I just got crashed into. Um, but yeah, everything still seems to be the same right now. It is now 123. We're about 11 minutes shy of the eclipse happening. The only thing I can tell you is there's a lot of bees coming back. Like There's so, so many bees that are arriving right now. There are none that are leaving. It's like they know the sun is maybe, you know, quote unquote, going down and they need to hurry home. Um... Yeah, there's only arrivals right now, no departures. So that is kind of cool. So let's take a look at these hives over here. These two are the ones that are active, so let's see. Yeah, they're pretty much only arriving back. They're not leaving. It's like they're getting ready for bedtime. And over here, all three of these are active. And it appears all they're doing is showing back up to the house. They're not leaving. Let's cut through the woods and go to my original bee yard. Yep, so all arrivals, no departures. All right, we're two minutes away from totality camera is actually doing a good job making this seem pretty bright out here. It is not bright at all. So this hive is completely wrapped up like nobody on the front porch. All right, it's getting rapidly darker. It's almost like it's going to storm. All right, it's 133. It happens at 144 here. 134, excuse me. still have a handful of arrivals. When I look into the air, you can see all the bees coming in. All right, it is 134. It is just about totality. It's supposed to be like 134 and so many seconds. Wow, it is really dark. people cheering. Wow. It is extremely dark out here. My camera is doing a good job at giving this some night vision. Well, unfortunately, this is probably the extent of our eclipse here. It's extremely dark in person, but, um, uh, the camera is making it look like it's actually pretty bright. It is not, it is not very bright at all. If I turn around and look at myself here, like it is quite dark. A lot of people out in the background cheering. It is very, very quiet. At this point, the bees look like they do at nighttime. They're just casually walking around on their entrances. There is no more flying. All right, it is now 137. It is getting lighter pretty quickly.
It looks like the occasional bee is showing up mm -hmm. now that it's getting a little bit brighter. I don't know if these bees, yeah, it's like all of a sudden there's a bunch of bees in the air that are making their way back. Like maybe they didn't quite get the chance to get here when it got dark. So maybe they posted up for a little while. And I've got these right here hanging out. It's definitely getting more active over here. It's now 1.38 and I'm getting attacked. I was not getting attacked a little bit ago. Now the bees are no longer cool with me standing here. See, it's much brighter out here now. See, and now I'm getting attacked by bees. It is now 140. It almost is about like the equivalent of, uh, you know, let's say like 7 a.m. Um, it's almost like they're just waking up and getting ready to uh, go start foraging again. At least that's the amount of light we have. This is about what it looks like whenever I go to work in the morning. And there's nobody really leaving yet. They're still just hanging out. Um, this colony, this is my biggest colony right here. Oh, there are some leaving. So bees have started to actually depart and come back. So there are bees that have been coming back constantly, but look, now they're all starting to leave again. It is now 141. It is now 142. This colony here has not quite started having bees depart. This colony, they are coming and going at this point. So here soon, these bees are probably going to start leaving and going out to forage. We're now about six minutes out of the total eclipse. All right, y'all. Just like that, that is what a Texas solar eclipse looks like in the cloudy weather. And just like that as well, my bees are back in business. I'm being attacked currently. Well, I need to go put my hair up. That was kind of crazy. That sounds terrible when a bee is stuck in your hair. It's just like, Nee-e-e-e-e. just like it's about to get you. You know, in any second, it's about to sting your scalp or it's going to be wrapped in your hair all day. So I'm going to put my hair up. All right, y'all. And just like that, we're back up and running just like normal. The bees are coming and going. It is still pretty cloudy, but look, you can see the bees passing over my head doing their normal business because now they have a geolocation device called the sun which is visible when it was not visible to the earth they they closed up shop they said it's nighttime we're going we're going to bed I'm gonna go work on the hive inside and uh now we're back up and running though they're all flying um so that was pretty cool i just wish that it would have been clear outside um so anyway we'll catch y'all on the next one thanks for watching